Hello everyone. Well, guess what? This is the last day of 2021. And unlike everybody else, who will be doing <laughs> the black eyed peas thing, I'm gonna make myself a veggie pate tonight. Okay, so the ingredients we're gonna need for that is about a cup of rice noodles, two tablespoonfuls of tamarind paste, um, no quarter pound of fried tofu, one cup of broccoli, one cup of carrot chopped in like mat match sticks, um, half red onion sliced, one chili pepper chopped, and scallion for garnishing. I'm gonna also use some basil, olive oil for sauteing, peanut also for garnishing, and a clove of garlic. And for the sauce, we're gonna need, um, the sauce is gonna have two tablespoonful of the tamarind paste and two tablespoonful of soy sauce, a splash of lime juice or lemon juice, and one chili pepper chopped. Alrighty, let's get ready to start. I have already chopped up most of my ingredients because I'm hungry. And I came in and got right to business. So here goes the, the, all the veggies that I've already chopped, the scallion. Oh, and bean sprouts, and I didn't mention that. So about a cup or half a cup of bean sprouts. And that you can do according to how you like it, you know? And so that's it. And then now I'm gonna get start started, one second. So before we get started, I started chopping up my tofu. And this is just, um. The already cooked tofu, the fried tofu. It's the um, five spice flavored tofu. Oops, it's dripping. And it comes in two pieces and you just take one piece out or you can use both pieces. And I cut it down the middle. And then, let me put my, yes. And then I will just go ahead and, and slice it so it comes out like this. So it's not that big and thick, if you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and so cutting that up, so that will go in my tofu. And you can always use tofu that you prepare yourself, but again, I told you guys I'm hungry. So I always keep um, already fried tofu on hand. So when I'm trying to make something real quickly, I can. Okay. Uh, let me get my chili pepper also and chop that because I'm going to make my sauce first. And set that aside. I'm also going to use, because they are so ch small, I'm just going to use two. Or maybe I'll use three chili peppers. I like it nice and spicy, guys. You can just use one depending on how much heat you like, okay? Let me put these tofu right here so this is going to be my whole dish and of course I told you I'm going to do peanut for garnishing here we go so one mistake that I made I'm supposed to have tamarind tamarind and paste well honey child I have the concentrate and it's going to have to work tonight so I'm stirring it with the hope that it will become thick but it's not going to get that thick but I'm going to go ahead and use it so I might use instead of two, yes, it's pretty, it's pretty um, tangy. So um, two tablespoonful, two, two and a half I put, tablespoonfuls. And soy sauce, the same thing. And I have the, um, actually have the, the salt free. Not salt free, soy free, sorry. There's no such thing as salt free um, soy sauce, but. So two tablespoons of soy sauce. And I also buy the, um, the pate rice noodles that's already cooked. So all you have to do is kind of juice it around, take it out and put whatever you want in there. So in this, I'm gonna chop now my chili peppers 
And they are a little old, so they are a little, well, not old, you know, chili pepper is dry. They are dry. So, yeah, I'm going to have to change my mind. They, they, they're flaking up on me here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they're acting crazy. You know, there's always a wild, wild one in the bunch. But no, no, no problem. I also have, um, I also have chili powder. So when push comes to shove, I can use it. So there goes the chili flakes. And now we need um, call for maple syrup, but I'm, I don't have maple syrup, so I'm using some blue agave raw agave so i'm using two tablespoonfuls and then we need a splash of lime a lemon i have lemon so i'm just going to use a little piece of it and you can also have a piece for when you finish if you need more you know all right so let's see what else i need to put in there I think this is it for my sauce but it doesn't look too much enough so I might have to double my sauce but let's see here first let me taste it first oh it tastes good it is good all right I'm gonna leave it at that I can always add a little bit of something in there so now we're gonna go over to the fire to the stove and we're gonna get cracking Okay, so here we go with my skillet, and I'm going to go ahead and put in some 100% pure avocado oil, about, I would say about two tablespoonfuls, just to coat the pan so I can um, saute my veggies, saute my um, onions and stuff like that. Alrighty, let's get the onion from this nice collage that I have here. And of course my pot is not hot yet, so because you see it's not, it's not making any noises, but it's okay. Quite okay. In a few minutes it will be making noises. All right, so here go my pot. My onion is nice and jumping all over the place. I'm gonna add my garlic now. And I chop my garlic, so there goes my garlic. Stir fry for a few seconds. Lower the aroma is boy. Why is it garlic and onion get along? If we all could get along like garlic and onion, what a beautiful world this would be. Oh my god. All right. Now I'm going in with my carrots. And you kind of just do it according to how they each each of these things cook once you do the, the sauteing of the the um, garlic and onion. And keep your, um, your stove on medium, your heat. I'll give that a few minutes. Then I'll add my broccoli. And I like everything to be crunchy, guys. Um, I don't like soggy veggies, especially turf, stir fry. I don't know why I can't talk today, but I think I'm too hungry. All right, so here we go with our carrots. It's only about a cup of carrots, not a lot. Alright guys, so now I'm going in with my tofu. And remember they are already cooked. So this is just going to literally warm them up a bit. 
get them seasoned with everything else. While that is going, I'm going to try and finagle this bag of, of uh, rice noodles and see what I'm dealing with. It's a lot, so I'm just going to go ahead and tear a, a portion of it, just enough that I think will be good. It's already cooked, so you don't need to put it in any hot water or anything. You put it straight in your pot. At least that's what I was told, you know. I don't cook this a lot, so we're gonna see. We'll see how that works out, okay? Get a little bit more, cause I'm hungry. All right, and I'm going in with my sauce now, and this is what's gonna steam her up. And I'm going in with the peppers. Yeah, let's see what this will do in a few minutes from now, honey. together nicely yes Lord this is looking scrumptious I have to repeat this recipe tomorrow look at that so much fun Yes, smells so good. And guys, I didn't mention this in there, but I have some peanut, peanut, um, some Thai peanut right here. And I'm just gonna go in with maybe about a tablespoon full. And now I'm gonna add the rest of my stuff in here. I'm gonna add the, the bean sprouts. I'm going in also. I could have put all the um, rice noodles in that pot because I could have eaten all of it, but you know, it is what it is. Let's not overdo it. Guys, whoa, 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 this right here calling my name when you don't see me or hear from me my head is in the plate with this one right here mm. oh yes and it's literally ready guys look at this few more seconds and I'm taking her out. Whew. Let me get my plate. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my basil in just about now. And I'm putting half of my um, green onions in. Oh Lord, telling you guys I can't wait to chow down on this bad boy right here. Check her out. Tell me you're not salivating over this right here, man. This is a party. A party in my pot right now. New Year's Eve party in my pot. Check her out. And it's smelling 
everlastingly scrumptious. Can't wait to taste it. All right, guys, my pata is finished. I'm gonna plate some of it right now. My heat is off. And I'm just gonna plate a generous amount of it. I thought I could finish all of this, but it's a lot. <laughs> so we're just gonna plate it. And then I'll go ahead and indulge. Yes, Lord. And I will go ahead and I'm going to put some fresh garnish on that. I'm also going to be garnishing with a handful of fresh peanuts. I mean roasted, fresh roasted peanuts. And guys, here it is. Come on now, tell me what you think. Are you are you salivating yet? This is my vegetable Thai pad thai. Or pad thai, whichever way you want to say it is pad thai pad thai, okay? But it's banging, guys. It is so good. So give it a try. And let me know. Happy New Year, guys. God bless.